This is my uh, Islamic girlfriend, Sharfaz Hussan. Uh, she does my makeup with uh, coal. Thank you, Sharfaz. Yeah, this this first legend. Well, this needs explaining. We got to go back to the first legend, you know, the mystery of the molding as it first built. Review that briefly, and then remember the Turkestanis, Uzbekistanis, Kazakhstanis, and Tajikistanis. All right, I forgot the Azerbaijanis. All right, I'm doing this for free. Um that a naked Malung, Islamic yogi, would appear amongst the, the, the Kush bushes on the south bank of the Oxus River, and he would teach them the secret of preserving hashish through the winter. Those lonely steps, they're icy. Don't slip. You'll get a mo Mongol headache you'll never get rid of. Well, uh, you know, Omar, Omar, never taught anybody the secret. I mean, he got captured by Khan the Toothless III, had to press hashish for him for 10 years, but he didn't tell him how he kept it, the mold off, that ammonia smell. Then, yeah, he got kidnapped, huh? By Ahmad II of Istanbul to Kapi Palace, he came across the back way across the Caspian Sea, zack, 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 those water buffalo belly boats, Grabbed him while he was fashioned in the sandbox and 10 years working for Ahmed the second in Istanbul. Okay, they, they gave him a golden cage. You're not in prison is a golden cage. Okay. Well, uh, okay. That's that. Remember that story? Sure you do. <laughs> I hope you're not driving your car while you're watching. Um, okay. In fact, there's another prophecy, like a 300-year-old legend that never got off the ground. Um, that a naked... <laughs> all prophecies are naked truths. White. Oh. Greek slave mm. with red hair everywhere, green eyes would unexpectedly appear. Now, this time south of the Oxus, first legend north, this uh, south. Um, and the naked slave would be neither a Greek <laughs> or an Afghani. Oh. Really makes me wonder who makes up this shit in the first place. <laughs> With no weapons. She's not, it's, it's free love. Any old hippies out there? I said free love. No weapons, no cash, no ducats of the damn Persian sultan. Yeah, and um, then, um, well, perhaps an Egyptian? <laughs> oh, slave trader would offer the Caucasian whore... <clears throat> Open-heartedly, just like, yeah. No weapons, no gold, get in, go out, especially of her, and nobody gets hurt. And you get the Basra's and Istanbul in the rearview mirror? We gave it away? How to do it, huh? Well, Mustafa, he, uh... <laughs> uh Three boys from Bok. Hey, over here. All right, well, Sphinx is 
not privy to this conversation. He's, you know, by the ninth century. John, um, yeah, uh, well, uh, the Egyptian, he wants no reward. Okay, yeah. Alexandria, unpaid favor for, uh -huh. peace, Ollie. Mm -hmm. Good vibe zero. And he sleeps right on, each of them sleeps. Um, we don't have tables or chairs. He just gets down with the Ollie and his many wives. As he can afford. And uh, look, doesn't Dusty, I mean, didn't Dusty give thanks? His amber chill must be the top, you know, disciple. Like the proto-pundit to come. Oh. Well, and look, he returned Omar's head. With the miscellaneous uh, remaining appendages. Wrapped in the tender fronds of baby soft palm trees. So classy. Um, well, you know, it's hand pressing, huh? Oh, I'm pretty damn good. And uh, he's mastered smoking. <laughs> yeah, then he falls in the irrigation ditch. Can't stop coffee. We have to go out him and do the mm -hmm, revival. Rastafarian, Zorastian train wreck. <laughs> yeah, you can't get out of the ditch on his own. Well, look it. Hmm. Uh, Mustafa nods. The seals of the prophecy ring true. Well, Mustafa gestures over here. Thanks. Display my brothers. Solid amber chillum before me. Hmm. Uh, well, Egyptian. You know, he's got all these pockets and hidden things. His turbans full of contraband. He's got twenty thousand hits. He likes American hundred dollar bills. Uh, yeah. Okay. Shh, shh. Ooh. Oh. Uh, the holy artifact. Um. Uh. Uh. Mustafa. <sighs> Gazes rapturously. Mm-hmm. Mm. So deeply touched. Although he he knows what those sacred inscriptions mean. About his third wife back in bulk, huh? He looks up from Chillum into the eyes of the Egyptian. Hmm. The two men stare into a million years of dust. Musa's wise. He intuits a chink in the karmic armor of this Egyptian supplicant before him. Gap, karmic gap. Could put an assassin dagger right through there. Um, he whispers to Sphinx, what does it mean? Do not take what is not given. The two men stare into a million years of dust. Egyptian, who does 
this amber chillum belong to? Sphinxed, stunned, cannot speak. <laughs>